In this video, we're going to talk about how to clean your bearings. Now, if you keep your bearings properly lubed, like how we show you in our thick and thin yo-yo lube videos, then cleaning your bearing is something that you only have to do very irregularly. In fact, the entire yoyotricks.com team only has to clean our bearings less than once a year on average because we keep our bearings properly lubed. But sometimes if you drop your bearing in the dirt, or if you're walking the dog in a sandbox, or you use some lube that's not specifically made for yo-yos, or you just use bad lube, then you're going to have to clean your bearings to get it back up to speed. So to clean your bearings, you're going to need a pin or a needle or a safety pin or something like that, the bearing that you want to clean, a pencil or a similar utensil, some paper towel, a small glass jar or bowl, and a solvent. In this video, we're using lighter fluid because it's cheap, it's in a small container, and it's not very harmful. Around your house, you might have some chemicals like acetone, or mineral spirits, or paint thinner, and these definitely work as solvents, but remember that they are harsh chemicals, and you should only use them in a well-ventilated environment. So the first thing that you want to do is remove the shields off your bearing, as this helps get the good stuff in and the bad stuff out. So to remove the bearing shields, you're going to need your pin and the bearing. So you want to look around the inner edge of the outer race of the bearing until you find this little gap. And that right there is the hole in the C-clip, which is where you remove it. So you want to take your pin and lay it flat next to the bearing like this. You don't want to have it pointing straight down. That's not going to get you anywhere. So you want to put the needle into that gap and press it into the corner between the outer race and the C-clip. And then when you're applying pressure, you just wanna pluck the C-clip down toward the middle of the bearing, which will release it. So you see the C-clip just popped out right there. Some bearings are harder to remove the C-clips than others, but if you give it a good try, you'll get it eventually. So you just wanna turn the bearing over, bang it on the table a couple of times, and the bearing seat is gonna fall right out. So after you deshielded your bearing, the next step is to simply take the bearing put it in the glass jar, and then fill the glass jar with lighter fluid until the bearing is completely submerged. Once you've done that, all you need to do is give the jar a little bit of a shake and then let it sit for about five to 15 minutes. All right, we're back through the magic of editing and our bearing has been sitting in the solvent long enough to dissolve everything in there. So you're gonna to wanna to take your pencil and just take the bearing out of the lighter fluid and then put it on the paper towel and let it sit there for about 10 minutes to let it dry. You really want to make sure it's fully dry because some solvents can damage plastic. If you want to speed the process up a little bit, you can simply take the corner of the paper towel and work it in the bearing, and that'll absorb some of the solvent out of the bearing. So once your bearing is fully dry, you just want to take it and put it on the end of a pencil and give it a nice flick. If your bearing's spinning smoothly, then great job, you just cleaned your first bearing. But if it's still a little gritty, you might want to try cleaning it again. Sometimes the second time is the charm. And if that still doesn't work, then we're gonna to have to resort to something a little bit more drastic. So, I'm introducing you to the paper cleaning method. To do this, you need a pair of scissors, a piece of white printer paper or notepad paper, a pencil, and your bearing. The bearing has to be unshielded to do this. So what you wanna do is take your piece of paper and your scissors and cut off the corner of the piece of paper and make a triangle. This triangle is about an inch and a half long and three quarters of an inch wide. Then you want to take this piece of paper and fold it in half so that you have one triangle that is two pieces of paper thick. Here you see that? Then you take your bearing on the end of the pencil and you're going to take the thin end of this piece of paper and you're going to thread it between the balls and touching the outer race. You just want to slide it right through there. So you see how the paper is poking through now? Then you're going to take this thin end and just give it a little tug until the paper won't slide anymore. You want to be careful not to break the piece of paper because then you can get small particles of paper in your bearing and you're going to have to clean it all over again and that's no fun. And if you pull too hard, sometimes you can break the bearing. So you really need to be careful. So once the bearing's all snug, you're going to pinch the outer race of the bearing and simply rotate the pencil maybe 10 or 20 times. And once you do that, you're going to take the piece of paper out and you're going to notice that there's some black gunk on the paper and that is what has been keeping your bearing from playing well. So once you take the paper out and you see that black gunk, you're simply going to cut another triangle, 
fold it in half again, put it in the bearing, rotate it, and take it out. And you're gonna keep repeating that process until there's no more black gunk left in the bearing. After you do that, your bearing should be spinning pretty well. But sometimes it doesn't quite work out. And when that happens, your bearing is probably dead and it's just time to replace it. But if it does work, all you need is some yoyotricks.com thin lube, lube up your bearing, put it back in your yo-yo, and play with it. And that is how you clean your bearing.